Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Lauren Whitney with richgirlnetwork.tv, and we are here at the Sunset and Gower Studios in Hollywood. Tonight, we are here for the West Coast premiere of Big Time, presented by the new filmmakers of Los Angeles. here with some of the best faces you're going to see all night. I have two wonderful people. I have Kara Kurtz on my left and I have Brian Lee on my right. They are both part of the great movie, uh, a Big Time, which is the, tonight is their West Coast premiere. So Kara, you are the producer of the film. I'm the director, the producer, and I'm in it, yeah. <laughs> she's the director, the producer, and she's in it. She does everything. Kara, tell us a little bit about it. Well, basically, um, a couple of, seven years ago, eight years ago now, we um, invented a handbag that lights up because I wanted to work for myself like every American. Right. And the handbag quickly blew up. It was on all these celebrities from Jessica Alba to Cameron Diaz. We were on the Today Show, E! News, anything you name. And then the recession hit. <laughs> so we kept filming during that time. And in 2009, when things got really rough, um, I decided to hit the road. And I live with some of the greatest entrepreneurs and innovators in America, many who are here tonight. And they gave me their advice on how to make it to the big time. Well, in the film, a lot of time I was holding the camera, you know, our little camcorder or we'd break out a flip phone or whatever we had. So, you know, the movie has a lot of different formats and we just shot, you know, what really happened in our lives. And it was the big high, as Kara said, toasting champagne to being on the Today Show. Then the economy hit and then it was crying on the floor, closing our office and really having a thing hit hard. What it actually turned out to happen was it was real time. Our movie ended up being real time life with what happened in America currently, right now. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Brian, and we look forward to seeing your film. I look forward to becoming big time with you. That's right. <laughs> Great, thanks a Thank lot, you, you guys. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> You guys are here tonight yep. uh, supporting Big Time the film. Yep. Can you tell me your involvement with the film and how you got involved with Kara and Brian? Well, we got rich and then they asked us to be in this movie about how'd you get rich. Oh, so it was kind of fun and we're pretty humble people by nature. So we actually didn't want to do it at first, but Kara is someone who's worked with us for a long, long time. She's the director and star of the film. And so when someone that has come through for you for so long asked you to do something, you do it. And it ended up being a great experience because we were able to get a, a sort of insight into her life and the challenges, the ups and downs that everybody faces in trying to get rich. It was really fun for us to kind of take that walk, which you normally don't do. You normally don't think about those things until someone says, hey, we're doing a documentary, puts a camera in your face and says, how'd you make money? And how, you know, what are the, what are the, what are the advice, what, what kind of advice do you have for people out there? And so that part was really fun for both of us because we normally don't look at things from that perspective. So being part of the film, was, was a lot of fun. Can you guys tell me a little bit about the film and how you guys came together to make this? Sure, I'll, I'll actually let Lauren go, go yeah. on that. Okay. okay, here we go. It's, it's a military action piece about snipers in 2003 um, in Iraq. Mm. I'm a veteran and so I know a lot of soldiers and I know guys who've gone through similar experiences. Um, my experience wasn't precisely like this because I was never a sniper, but it's that's kind of what drew me to this piece. And what about for you, Virginia? Um, you know, I just was really excited to work with Lauren because of his experience, and um, I just really believed in the project. And um, you know, I love working with people who are telling a story that's close to their heart. I think people should make stories about you know things that are close to them that they believe in that you know express a part of themselves. And I definitely could feel that in this piece, and felt that that was a huge, huge part of this piece. So that's kind of you know you, you got to get behind somebody who's so behind it. When we start talking about war, you know, there's a lot of feelings that come to the table. Can you tell me that if you guys have any kind of activist work or um, outreach work you're interested in doing with it for yeah. Yeah. soldiers? Actually, I, I <laughs> ride I ride with a, a motorcycle club that's okay. called the Patriot Guard Riders. Great. And what we do is support the families of fallen soldiers. I guess the best thing to say is that you guys are not only activists, but you're artivists, you're artists <laughs> who are making a difference. And right. that's very exciting. So thank you guys very much. And I look forward to hopefully getting to see a little bit of your films today. Cool. Great, great. Cool. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs> So I am surrounded by five beautiful, intelligent women, and they are all associated with the film The Real Girl's Guide to Everything Else. Hi, I'm Carmen Elena Mitchell. I'm the writer, the executive producer, and I also play the character of Angie. 
It's about um, a lesbian journalist who goes undercover as a straight girl. So, <laughs> I'm Heather DeMichelle, I'm the director, and it's a very smart, sassy series. Uh, Jen Weaver, I play Liz, and I'm also a co-producer, so I had to wear a lot of hats on set. I'm Rena Dutt, I play Sydney, I'm a co-producer, and um, I guess I was a private parts consultant for the series. <laughs> yeah. I'm Robin DeLea, I play Rasha, and I really can't walk in heels. So ladies, thank you so much. I wish you guys just much success with this web series, and you guys are all beautiful, and it sounds like you guys are going to do amazing things, so thank you. Irish Girl Network! <laughs>so can you tell me a little bit about this film sure i was just telling them that um you know the saying hell hath no fury like a woman's mm -hmm. scorned this movie is sort of the living embodiment of that sentiment as in a woman who gets dumped and then well dressing down is actually a, you know it's a saying like you give someone a dressing down yeah right, right that's basically what she does throughout the whole movie is she's dressing down her ex-boyfriend you know, sometimes as women, we have to step into our power. Yeah. And it sounds like this film has a little bit of, like, woman empowerment definitely, going on. Definitely, definitely. She is, uh, the, the lead character is Stacy, and she is very much a character, a force to be reckoned with. Um, mm -hmm. She has her vulnerable moments, but for the most part, she's just very strong and doesn't hold back. Well, thank you so thank much. You. you are absolutely stunning. Thank you. And I look forward to just seeing you have an amazing career. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Hi, Rich Girl Network. My name is Elle Newlands, and I am very much a rich girl tonight on this red carpet. Trevor, can you tell us about the concept of this film and how you developed it? Sure. Um, it's an animated film. It's a uh, half stop motion, half hand-drawn animation. And it's, um, it's a film about a kid trying to reconnect with his grandfather after he dies. So did you go to school for animation? I'm still in school. I'm at uh, the California Institute of the Arts. Do you have any projects you're working on right now or that you're trying to start? I have another film that's in the works right now. It's not far long enough to really say anything for sure about it, but if you go onto my blog, which is uh, Yeb Kemen, which is Y-E-B-K-A-M-I-N dot blogspot.com, you can see like updates on it all the time. Trevor, thank you so very much, and we are excited just to see your film and to see all the wonderful things you have coming up. Can you tell us a little bit about the film? Yeah, uh, it's basically the day in the life of a couple that knows each other very well. They wake up, get dressed, make breakfast, and are connected and disconnected equally. The clincher is that I use dance to tell their story. It's a choreographed gesture of physicality. I look forward to coming to see your film, and you wear many, many hats, and I hope much success for you. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you so much, Lily. Yeah. Thank you. I am here with the amazing, handsome Zachary Alexander Rice. Zachary, now you are the next big thing in Hollywood, from what I understand. Thank you. Well, I just finished a film for Sundance called Fate of Phoenix. I have a new movie called Nightwood. I have my own comedy act, and I'm writing my own book. And how old are you, Zachary? Seven, I just turned. He's seven years old and he's writing his own book. What is your book about? It's called, it's called Act Like a Kid. It's teaching kids how to get into acting, like how to get their agent, how to get their headshots, how to get their manager, stuff like that. We look, we're so excited to have you here tonight. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I look forward to seeing you do big things, man. Thank you. You're awesome. Y'all know this sister, okay? She has been in The Secret Life of Bees and in Napoleon Dynamite, and we all love both movies. <laughs> now, Shandrella, do you have any um, things that we should look forward to seeing you in coming up? Yes, I do. I actually just wrapped on a feature film okay. with Jake Gyllenhaal. I know, Jake Gyllenhaal. Stop it. <laughs> I'm so excited different from what people know of me. I right. mean, most people know me as a comedian mm -hmm. from, you know, one-on-one -on -one or cuts, any of my half-hour shows I've done, along with, of course, Napoleon Dynamite. But this particular show, it's going to take you a different turn for Chandrella. Okay. It'll show you that, you know, I'm not just the funny girl. I right. am actually have episodic. I went to school for theater. So this is really a wonderful launch pad. Right. I really am grateful for David, who actually wrote it and who directed. He wrote Training Day. I know. Yes. I'm really okay. excited. So, and Jake Gyllenhaal was wonderful to work with. I play a crack at it and it's very different. Wow. <laughs> I'm so grateful for all of my supporters. I mean, I love, 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 love everyone. Um, but I need to show them something different now. Right. So that way they can see a full spectrum of Chandrella. I'm more than just the funny girl. I actually episodic. I think I'm the Black Meryl Streep. 
Mm -hmm. okay, okay. <laughs> so if this will be a wonderful introduction to that. Hey, Rich Girl Network TV. I'm Chandrella Avery, and I say thank you.